I have greatly improved my Madden 24 defense to give up a minimal of points per game by using one of the three methods of user defending to get pick sixes, hit stick fumbles, and stops in the back. So relax and watch if you want to see the top three ways to use it if you want to have the best defense in Madden 24. Before we get into the three methods, there are three important things that you must do. In the settings menu, under gameplay helpers, turn on defensive ball hawk and defensive heat seeker assist. Defensive ball hawk moves your user controlled defender into position to play a catch while the ball is in the air. With this off, your user defender will attack the ball less aggressively. For defensive heat seeker assist, the user controlled defender is steered towards the ball carrier when attempting to run or dive to make a tackle. Second, user fast and tall safeties instead of linebackers and defensive linemen. Safeties jump higher, get interception animations, and are faster and more agile than linebackers or defensive linemen. Formations that allow you to sub in safeties at linebackers are dollar and nickel formations. Third, before we get into the three methods of how to use her, always strafe after the ball is hiked. This allows your user to move in a football position. It allows them to make interceptions quicker. Then you would go into a sprint if needed. Strafe is L2 on PS5 and LT on Xbox. For each method, you will always go towards where the receiver is going to be and not directly to the wide receiver. For interceptions, you will press and hold triangle on PS5 or Y on Xbox when the ball comes near for an interception. Now, the first method is the read and react method. This takes away quick first reads such as drags and running backs out of the backfield. This can be used for short yardage plays. As you see, we have a play where there is a quick drag route that is going to be open against mostly any defense. For the method, we would first strafe to the middle of the field about four yards back and survey the middle of the field and look to see for any low developing routes or any drags that will be coming into this square. If we see a route, that's going to be coming into this square first, we will run to where the receiver is going to be and not directly towards the receiver. Therefore, you see in this play, we force the computer to go to his second read because that route is not open. Here's another example of a late developing crossing route that is open unless it's user. We strafe into the middle of the field, survey the area, and look to see what routes will come into the box first. We then release strength and put ourselves in between the wide receiver and the quarterback and go to where the receiver will be, press and hold triangle on PS5 or Y when the ball is near for an easy pick. Before we go to the next method, if you want to get better at Madden 24, subscribe and we will do it together. Now the second method is the dead man method. This method, you stand still holding the strafe button and look into the area to see the first route coming. Then go to cover and go to where the receiver is going to be. Press and hold triangle or Y for an easy interception. This method works great on screen passes because you can see the screen developing and you can pick it off for an easy pick six. This method also works great for quick slants and short yardage plays. The third and best method is the fake blitz method. It's the best method because you actually are fake blitzing. You put your player in the left or right A gap. This method is the best method because it manipulates the offensive line to think you are blitzing. This helps the blitz come in quicker when you are blitzing. Also, when you're not blitzing, 
It also helps your defensive line get more block sheds and quicker block sheds. For this method, we hold strafe in the A-gap. And it's best used when blitzing. Once the ball is hiked, you hold it for a second, and then you go into coverage, looking for the first routes coming across the middle of the field. Here's an example of using the fake blitz method with a blitz to get quick pressure on the quarterback. As you see, the defenders on the defensive line get in the backfield much quicker when we fake blitz. We manipulate that offensive line. Some of the offensive linemen think you're actually blitzing. This results in sacking the quarterback. Here's another example of the fake blitz method and taking away the first quick read. Also note that if you are using this method with a blitz, make sure to have a zone covering the side of the running back in case he goes out for a pass. If you choose to not have a zone, make sure you cover the running back if he goes out for a pass. Because if not, and your opponent sees that, that's going to be an easy pickup of a lot of yards or possibly a touchdown. The last example is an example of how to cover and pass a receiver off to another defender. As you see right here, the fake blitz helps create a block shed. 74 thinks you're blitzing. Therefore, he stands still and doesn't block anyone. It helps our defensive end get an easy one-on-one -on -one quick block shed to get pressure on the quarterback. Also, we are taking away the first read and the first pass, we pass this re receiver off to the next zone defender, and therefore we're able to cover two people at once. Once passed off, we go to the next route developing in that area, and we're able to cover him too. Most players will not get to three reads, especially if you're blitzing. This will result in you getting a lot, a lot, I repeat, a lot of picks. Lastly, we have run defense. How to use or control and smack that running back in the backfield, in his face, and possibly force a turnover. This is how you do it. Now, for using the run with a linebacker slash safety, okay? You'll always pay attention to your run fits, okay? L2 and square on PS5 is the run fit or run gap you're in control of if that ball goes to the left. L2 and circle is the gap you're in control of if that ball goes to the right. Now, once that ball is hiked, just go to that gap that they're controlling, okay? Just go to the gap, fill that gap, occupy that gap, and you can either hit stick Sometimes you'll get picked up on a block, but if you get picked up on a block and you control your correct gap, the other players will come and help out. But this is how I smack them in the backfield, okay? That's how I smack players in the backfield. You get a good hit stick, go for a strip, but you definitely smack these guys by controlling your run fit. Control your run fit, okay? Have good run defense. Know how to set up a good base run defense. Okay, let's check the run fits. Okay, there we go. Where is he going? He's coming right here. Smack him in his face. Just like that. Shoot that gap and smack. Okay, so these are random outside runs. Okay. We still just pay attention to our run fits. That ball is going outside. We still want to control our gaps. Okay. Still control your gaps. Believe me, your team will help. If you don't control your gap, everything goes haywire. Okay, control your gap. Again, L2 and square for it's going to the left. L2 and circle if it's going to the right. That's on PS5. I'm sure it's the same on Xbox. Okay, right there. We weren't able to get up there, but we had cornerbacks that are beast. Ravens might win a Super Bowl this year, by the way. Only team, I think, still looking like they can do something. I still think Buffalo has a shot, though. But let's see this run fit. Look at this one. Coming all the way over here. 
Let me control my gap. Control my gap. That's how you smack these guys every time, guys. We'll run it one more time. And uh, what I like to do is sometimes when, if you're using someone that doesn't have a run fit, right now he has a run fit. Like say, for instance, we want to use this cornerback. I don't know why we would, but he has no run fit. We can do whatever we want with him. Okay, we can go anywhere we want to help out. But if you're using a guy that has a run fit, you need to pay attention to that. That's how you have really good run defense. Okay, if it goes to the left, that's our gap. If it goes to the right, we need to get all the way outside of that tackle. Get outside of that tackle, man. Come over here. Get outside that tackle and help out, guys. Now that you know how to use them, take your user game and defense to the next level by checking this video out on how to hit stick and cause fumbles with your user control defender. The video is right here. Click that link, watch that video. Take your defense to a whole nother level.